Here I'm entering the canal tunnel. We weren't really prepared for it to be so wet. And it was also very dark. So sorry that you can't see everything, but I will take care of a better flashlight in the future. Because filming was so difficult, here are some pictures. There was this strange growth. What you can see here, I don't know what it is. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments. This is the building where they control the canal. I don't know what all this equipment is. Someone lived there as well. Here you can see uh, his living room and 666. Tutsa PA means everything has a price. Here are some pictures. We also wanted to explore a nuclear power plant. Um, I couldn't find the ma main building, maybe it was this one, but my map said it was way uh, further behind, but we couldn't get there. And uh, they were working there as well. They were demolishing things, so maybe it was already gone, or it is this building. But we couldn't get in because they blocked the entrance. As you can see, it was really high from there where we looked, so you couldn't really climb through the window or something. There are also some other buildings on this terrain, but we didn't go in because we all, where we could see it was empty and we wanted to see the actual power plant, but unfortunately we only saw the cooling tower and this. Oh yeah, and this bridge, it was very scary, <laughs> because you could look down. <laughs> and there was no uh, stairs there, you had to climb. I didn't film it that well, but here you can see my brother going down. The stairs end there. This is the cooling tower. Nature already took over. I don't understand why they make a cooling tower from wood from the inside. Why not metal? Yeah, maybe because it gets hot, but I don't know. If someone knows, please let me know. It looks so cheap. We also went in the tower that you can see on my right here, the round building. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it has something to do with the power plant. It looks really beautiful inside.
sorry if my editing isn't that good yet, but I'm working on it. I don't have a good computer, so I have to do it on my phone for now. It's really difficult. <laughs> We also went to this school, it already looked closed, but I want to look anyway. In the end we could go in a small building next to the school, but I didn't record that unfortunately. I wasn't really prepared for this trip, so my phone was empty the half of the time and uh, my GoPro was empty and my camera was empty after the first two locations so hmm, next time <laughs> we'll do a better job at that yeah i'm very disappointed i couldn't get in because there was a lot of stuff there yes this location looks so promising but then we went to the back there were some cars there and we try to go through the back door and all of a sudden a guy stands, stands behind that door talking to us and then we ran away. <laughs> oh, I didn't film that either. Oh, this house was so full of stuff. The guy that lived here. Had a lot of projects going on. I also filmed the inside, but it was not with my GoPro, so I didn't have wide angle and the house was so full, so I didn't put that in this video. Durf jij te kijken? Ik moet kijken eigenlijk, ik zou zo dichtbij. Kut. Dat is wel eng hoor. Ik heb een aantal gevoel. We also went to the small grocery store. I think this was one of the nicest locations we had this day. The guy on the left is the owner. He was very dedicated to his shop. He worked there until at least 74 because we found a news article about him that he was robbed 
at 74 years old. I think it's really pathetic to do that, but it's the way it went. Finally, I know some history about a house. Then you look at it another way, I, I think. Oh my god. Zo, deze had ik echt niet verwacht. Nee. Dat is denk ik ook wolf Thank you. 